Today we'll have a look at a pen from a brand that people absolutely love. And this pen was uh, loaned to me by Sakura Fountain Pen Gallery in Belgium. And it is a Nakaya. And people go berserk over Nakaya. This is a grail pen, I mean not this particular one, but Nakayas are, 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 are um, uh, grail pens to many people, I think. I've reviewed one before, and this is a, uh, a different uh, pen. Comes in this box, which is that nice paper. And then you have this box, wooden box. And in there, I'm being very careful here, because I have to send this back, you get a converter, 10 cartridges of blue-black ink, that's a lot of, conver a lot of uh, uh, cartridges, you get this very soft velour style lining, and you get a pen kimono with a pen. Kimono opens up. Pen pippity pops out. Here we have the pen. All right, this is the pen, and this is a pen uh, that has a very fascinating lacquer job, and I think the lacquer is what um, Nakaya is known for. Um, I'm going to cover the parts of the pen, tell what I like about it, what I don't like about it, and then I'll do a writing sample. Let's start at the very top of the cap. There is no logo or anything on the finial. I'm just grabbing a very good hold of this because I do not want to drop this. Well, here we have a clip. Um, the clip, it looks a lot like a platinum clip. And then you have this nice, you can see that um, shading in the lacquer there where the cap meets the barrel. On this side here you have the, the barrel. And then at the end there, there is nothing again. The cap unscrews. And then you have the section, and here you really see the splendor of the lacquer that Nakaya does. Now Nakaya offers all kinds of things, uh, I mean all kinds of options in nibs, for example, and, and customization. Uh, this is a double broad nib uh, and a, uh, a simple uh, plastic feed um, and then you have these I, I really like the lacquer on the threads that goes from this very warm caramel type brown to a green it looks very nice unscrew the barrel and then you have the feed a simple platinum feed uh, and as you can see it's almost empty and of course the uh, well the section small section okay what do I like about this pen what do I not like about this pen well I just uh, took a breath there a deep breath there there are things I I very much like and there are things I just don't care for that much let me start with things that I really like the nib performs. Writes very well. It writes smoothly. It writes without skipping. Uh, it is everything that you might expect from an expensive pen. This pen would retail here for 590 euros. So this is an expensive pen. All right. Now people are going to say you can get them cheaper in Japan. Yes, I'm sure you can get them cheaper in all kinds of places. This is what you get. The what you pay for the pen at the Sakura Pen Gallery, all right? So that's what I'm going with. You get a small work of art. You can see how this lacquer catches the light. You can see how beautifully it's done. You can see the nice shading, the gradient uh, on the, um, the section. And you get a nib that writes well. All of these are great things. But there are also things I don't like so much. Nikaya is a very hyped brand. It's extremely hyped up. It is a brand that makes grail pens for many people. And, uh, you know, running the risk of getting some backfire from this, I don't get the hype. Okay? 
I'm honest here. I, I don't see it. I, I understand this is a well-made pen. I understand that it's a uh, very expensive pen. It's it's a decent size. It's it's on the small side. But what I see when I look at this is a smallish, very lightweight pen. I don't see an excessively expensive pen. Now, of course, tremendous work goes into doing lacquer jobs like this. It requires skill, it requires patience, uh, there are no blemishes in the lacquer, there are no air bubbles. It's, it's very, very well done. That's clear. And that you would pay something for that, I understand. But I don't see almost 600 euros worth of pen in this. I just don't. Now that's my personal opinion, but of course there's a reason I do these reviews and I cannot just completely shut off my personal opinion. I do give every pen, at least I think I do, fair treatment and as I said, great tremendous work goes into creating one of these. I understand that. I understand that people would like it. But for me, the ratio between price and what you get is a little off balance. I would probably pay 200 euros for this and and not more. Um, so, you know, that's my opinion of course and yours could vary. What I will say is they do a good job. They also drop the ball a few times. I mean you can see here for example that in the clip uh, I, I don't really know if you can actually see that but there are some pretty significant gaps uh, where the clip is attached to the cap. I mean, this probably screws off. You pop the cap in, oh, sorry, the clip in. Um, there is about a millimeter on one side and about half a millimeter on the other side. If the pen is sold for this amount of money, then I would expect a tighter tolerance there. And you can get these pens clipless too. Um, but, you know, uh, I think this is an issue that plagues more pen makers these days. Uh, you see it with, with others too. It's just too expensive for my taste. Okay, having said all of that, it is a pleasant writer, it is beautifully lacquered, and in that regard, you know, it's uh, again, you're, you're buying a, a small uh, piece of, of art, uh, clear handwork, um, well made, and that's all there's to it. If you want to see more of the pen, there are pictures on my website, high resolution, made by uh, uh, Gourmet Pens. Uh, there's also measurements on the website if you want to see how big or small it really is. And the only thing we need to do now, right now is a writing sample. That's coming up next. Thanks a lot to the Sakura Pen Gallery for uh, entrusting me with this pen. It's coming back to you right now. Guys, I hope this was useful so far, and I'll gladly see you later. Bye bye. Okay, here we go with the Nakaya Cigar Portable Writer. The nib is a double broad and the ink is Mont Blanc Toffee Brown. Okay. You definitely feel that you are using a fountain pen nib here. This is not a, a writing on glass type smoothness in experience. Horrible sentence, but you probably caught my drift. Let's do a bit of fast writing. You do see that even for such a broad nib, the ink flow keeps up very well, so that's very good. Wetness. It's not the world's wettest pen, but it's by no means dry. Line variation, well, it is a double broad, but it's, I find it fairly hard. Uh, you don't really get that much more line variation by pushing down on it. Reverse writing is possible. It is definitely scratchier, but it is possible when you go from a double broad to, I would say, a very good fine, maybe even an extra fine. Alright, I thank the Sakura Fountain Pen Gallery for lending me this pen. I hope this review was useful, and uh, guys are glad to see you later.